Let's brandish shields will shatter. There's no KO on this map, bro. Heretics Let's go mid farm. Ever side, huh? Completely eradicate memories of Madrid. Such a disappointing. Stop your stupid drone, he just said. But now they've gone so far. But the hardest step is yet to come. Benji Fishy trying to pave the way, following the dog, making their way out A. Tagged up by the walls, you see the spam coming through. Oh, oh, nice! Let's go, Genji. From the start for Genji you know, already. Talk about this, Dre. It's a, it's a marathon. It's not a sprint. These are things where your mind, your mental will get tested. The depth of your strategy book can potentially get exposed. Texture is the one who's getting tested right now. Plucking mood out of the sky, and of course, dipping in for a second, perhaps a third. But wisely decides to take a step back. He was an imminent threat already. Not landing every shot he's taking, but just the pressure alone. Making heretics have to slow the round down. Enough of a threat. You saw a texture with Marshall. You see a Guardian for Meteor and Charon as well. Silent creep up all around the mid area of the map. Once contact gets made in this mid door, that's going to be the key for Boo to creep on up. Take them out. And creep into his death. Really no space to be found. There's not many options right now for the side of Heretics. Not at all. Yeah, they have all the mid space. So at least they'll have some info of how Genji like to play some of these default setups and three twos for future anti ecos. As I say that, Hang a rain of fire. Hang on now. These classics are not supposed to be winning these gunfights. Not at this distance. Not against 30 seconds left. Guardian on the other side. Can Heretics convert on this? Can they already? Make a situation. There's a flag. Landing on B and the plant is denied. Oh. Yeah, I know. I know, the plant not getting good. I just need to survive. That's all. Yeah, there's just no way for Patapex to get this. He's not even going to be able to get to the spike in time. He's just looking for anything that he can find. Daring, wanting a fight, wanting to die. And it wasn't the way he wanted Team Heretics. Flash go out towards elbow, a little bit of presence B. Rian's making himself known. Right here. Well, again, these openers from Gen G look so good right now. Picks everywhere on the map, left and right. That operator got online too. And yet again, a 5v3. Oh, it's looking to double dip. Oh, this Gen is cool. posted up on half wall. <laughs> oh my god. Wow, wow lock here. This has the potential of being a nightmare for heretics. I mean, to go down flawless in your first gun round. When you imagine that you're playing for a grand final, this is not how you envision it to start. Nerves can definitely be a factor in high pressure moments like this. And I think that's what we're seeing right now just from the start of heretics, peeking individually one by one across the map. There was a pick B, and B main on Woot. There was A main. You gotta save, you gotta that save. Operator. And then, as well, just the solo peaks. B main after after one, one after another, dropping like flies. Thirty seconds left. And so Benji Fishy now just has to sit by and wait, hope and pray that the round will come to a conclusion without being detected, and hopefully carry that bandle into the next round. But they're on the prowl. They're hunting him. And it's because their economy is going to be flourishing no matter what. Why not? Here comes first contact. Bloodhound nose to the ground, trying to hunt him down. Benji Fishy feeling all the pressure. He will get cleaned up. The blood will be drawn. A flawless round as Genji get their third. It almost looks like they're they're defying the way the game is played. Challenging convention. You expect for Her if Heretics are going to have a really good shot at this, he's got to be online. Of course, he is the first out on the site and finding cover in the okay. smoke and now striking onto Munchkin. Oh, wow. Texture and Meteor again. He's not able to control oh, wow. the spray though. Benji Fishy lit up. He's the last one standing. We'll this is brutal. <laughs> I love it. And it was I love a it. Beautiful exact from Team Heretics. And they need this one bad, Doug. They need this one really bad. Meteor's getting active already. Okay. So much space. And then TPing away, feeling a lot of the pressure that's heading B. When you hear the drone come out, you know there's help that's needed. And of course, Meteor arrives on the scene at just the right time. Just some spam through the smoke, seeing some of the chasers on the other end. But Munchkin. He gets plucked out by that Sova dart. Where do they 
go off of this, though. There. They don't really have space anywhere on the map. Meanwhile, you look at the mini-map, Texture's already taken caves. Just gonna dial in on this lane low, get any type of early info here. You imagine a jump spot coming through from the side of Heretics, or they just swing into it. Oh, we just can't. Swing in, surely they'll get taken out. Meteor gotta find out right now. Meteor used the jolt on the other side of the map. Meanwhile, Patatech, there's the jump spot. A little leg shown. And now they think twice about it. This is a brutal spot for Heretics. They know that the Yoru just ulted on B. They've already gotten picked off on the other side. You know there's an off towards A. Much like we saw in the pistol round, right? It, there's not a lot of safe, spa safe space here. 30 seconds left. They are picking the right site, though. They're moving back to B. The and the yeah, that's not the them that they went back to B. There's three players of J. Skewed it. Here. Lockia with an opportunity to make a massive play. Oh, wow. Oh, on the other yeah. side. He was overwhelmed, but Meteor again delivers. Woot's left in a 1v2 with 10 seconds left. He's got the spike in hand. He's got a good down low. And with 5 HP, nothing but a sliver, nothing but a little bit of spray will take you down. I think Woot has an idea that he saw. Oh, wow. Some success for Heretics, and he just can either. A ferocious start for Gen G. A beautiful round. He's going to be able to challenge this, this kid, and it's Meteor who's just taking the show. Blades online. Op shot rattles off. Doesn't connect, but can Wood find any success with his ult? You saw how deadly he could be in that last series. That icebox clip is one for the books. I don't think Genji are interested in reading it though. Look at Munchkin again, getting active, and again it's me eh? who capitalizes. More than halfway to his ult again. It's an unbelievable performance so far for the guy. Oh, he just had it in the previous round too. Benji's shots are so stupid. There's another he's down to 5 HP, right? They're yeah. down two members once more, Doug. Yeah, and they need to find so a way unlucky. to get some sort of success going, get some confidence going. Maybe it's in the hands of Woot, but something to kind of get yourself out of these, these stumbling blocks that you've slammed into every single round so far. Maybe it's Rians, but now Texture showing that he can do a bit of his own. The blades come online, and Woot falls. It's just Boo now in a classic at that distance. Excuse me, a Sheriff. Maybe can deal a little bit of damage, oh. but not even that. A 6-0 lead for Genji. Heretics have already called a timeout. And knife for knife, Texture, best wound up in B main. Get info there. He's he's now enabled. They're scared of Meteor. The duo in tandem just switching sites, switching positions. I'd be scared of him too. Especially with this little off angle he's holding, waiting for anybody to creep on up, walk right into the crosshair. Benji Fishy doesn't want none of that. Wu just shot an op into halls to clear the drone. So now they know, at least they have a better understanding of what's on the other side. Wu wasn't able to find anything going with the blades. Maybe the op will tell a different story. Oh, Meteor's just walked all the way down mid as we were talking about all that. So aggressive, the reposition in the mid round. He's liked to play around this map. Remember a couple of rounds ago, he took this space and then TP'd back B. I'm pretty sure Benji heard something. Zoggin Halls will get some value, but it's going to be the fighting game that's going to be the deciding factor in this round. Oh, okay. Comes out on top. Benji Fishy gets the best Munchkin on the other side as well. Heretics putting it together around, and it's a wow. good time. They've got Astra? plenty of money, but I can't imagine Texture goes for a 1v5 here. With an AWP, I don't know. They're handing over the spike left. to Boo so he can get the spike down, get the ult online, carry that into the next round. Planted. There you go, success found. And they're in a tough spot right now because you want to hunt. It's a 5v1. But if you drop all your weaponry right now, you're not going to have much left in the tank. You're going to have a scrappy buy, light armors. You almost can't afford to. Yeah. So maybe they get one, and maybe that's when they decide to cut their losses. But as I say that, it does seem like heretics are getting a little bit active. You've got the dart that just hit back sight from Rien's. Make sure that he wasn't there. Benji Fishy is also on the prowl. This is risky. When you're down this big, every dollar counts. And I don't think Texture knows. It's tough when you have so many angles you have to clear. Oh. Nice. Of course he knows. Guess is it just the right time. So Benji Fishy falls, but Heretic's on the board. They got around and they did so. Genji's still with the Koza lead and an op still in the hands of Texture. Wood has his own. 
way more aggressive this time around is Texture. That trip will keep him at bay. And then even if that's cleared, you've got a cam further up the hall. And the toggle's right on Q. And the thing is, Doug, I think Heretics are reading into the fact that Texture has been opting towards this B main area because he hasn't been peaking A main like he has been doing the last, what, like, yeah, sure. first five rounds of the half. Sure. So the macro game of Heretics are starting to understand how Gen G are set up. And it's kind of been giving yeah. them the advantage, at least in that last round. If they decide to go A, they're going to have to reckon with the two Astro Spires that are sitting at their feet. I've got your trail. But the Seekers infected, okay. the wall goes up, uh, and they've decided cutie. this is where they want to dance. This is where yeah, they want to try to find some success. Lockheed with the Hunter's Fury out, it's going to be traded. Oh! oh. By Rians, but they're starting to get the kills they need. They've gotten two. Okay. Heron's still trying to dance around the site. Keep yeah, the map. Up. Fishy has gotten all the way Oh, wow. Oh, no. Now going through the door, a texture stuck on the what? outside, still lands a shot on Boo. And now a 2v2 as the spike goes down. And no way Texas is gonna like, change his spot. Is so good. Munchkin has to wait for Texture to join the party. He's so weak, 30 HP, no armor. And Heretic's in a really nice spot here, digging their heels into the site. But with such little health. One what can Genji do? Munch can fall if that's the weak one that's left. Does anyone swing the up? Yes, oh. it does, and it doesn't matter. Patatech puts a bullet between his eyes as Heretics get their second. Two rounds in a row now for Heretics. And now they're reading the map really well. Boo is doing a good job of IGLing. Once more, not hitting the site where the operator is at. Yeah, I mean, it's almost like they can see through the walls as soon as the op switches back over to A. Air takes a step ahead of it. Decide that they want to take a different look, a different approach. I think a lot of people out there, myself included, get so blinded by the fact that heretics have these shooters, have these stars, that Turkish aim and whatnot. But they don't understand the level of macro these guys play at. They actually read the map really well. Their coaching staff does a really good job of prep. Find some cover texture. They're looking for you. That's info gathered that the op is confirmed at A main. He's not pushed off of that line though. Oh! And he gets dropped by Rians. I'd love to see that one back. Yeah. And again, Heretics finding success in the round. Another numbers advantage. I mean, B. Surely he doesn't take a CP, right? That's a second one he sent down there. The first one was a fake. That's seconds. a fake too. <laughs> That's enough to slow you down and make you think twice about it. But Heretics now wanting to go beat nice. they get past Munchkin. The spam is good onto the nice. on the second. Benji Fish is there on the trade, kill. yes, but it's a three. Oh, wow, oh wow. wow. By the time he arrives, the round will likely be over. He can't get in. What was that for left. Meteor? The run and gun on the first kill. Consolidates his aim, secures the second. He's here to win it all, man. Careful now. Oh, Meteor caught by the trip. Benji Fishy showing that he can wield the Ops as well. But Genji will get to seven. Ah, Into the next we go. Ops still in the hands of Woot. Cutting through. Carried over by Benji Fishy. Boo the economy pen. for Genji is kind of trash, I would say. I mean, if they lose this round, it certainly doesn't have to buy. It's such a good don't have money to buy for another round. Uh, oh, Texture. Oh my god, Texture, what are you? What is this guy eating? Halfway through. Heretics again have the door slammed in their faces, but Rian's continues to push. That's okay. That's okay, guys. That's okay. And it's just a freeze to the round now. I don't think I've ever been confident that a team would win. You know, for the Sentinel Smash, I wasn't even sure. Does he wait for his teammates to come up mid-door? Sentinel Smash is Gen G. Master Smash. Oh, I'm pretty sure. On the no. other side. Boo not allowed to get into the site as uh. the door gets toggled once more. They have found some passage out, but they still haven't gotten oh. the main objective down. Oh. That's a big swing out from Boo as Lakia falls. Can he find anything else as he pushes nice. the ground? What a shot from Karon. Another three for him as Genji gets A. Finessing around backside A, eh? protecting his teammate who was stuck Ops stairs. Online. Currently posted up A. Deploying the... This 
Molly as soon as Munch can get some contact. Does such a good job of delaying. Yeah, it's just to deny any rush off the barrier. That allows time for that Yoru TP to go all the way in the back of B site. So if it is, if they do actually commit, and he can be there, there could be a third member there. As all that's happening, Lakia gets info on Benji Fishy and Halls. A triple shock dart bounce. That's yeah. not something you see every day. No, oh, I thought that thing was going to soar, soar right past him. <laughs> He's got the angles down, the geometry. Heretic's quietly leaning towards A. Remember, Texture has his op. And it's looking that way. Another opportunity to, for him to strike into the hearts of Heretics once more. Someone okay. needs to break his dart. A quick step back. Fox the dash. The flash through. Meanwhile, who's the one that falls? Texture gets the best of Woot again. He's had his number the entire time. Genji are obliterating Heretics on this half. And the setups, they're just shining so bright right now. For Gen or Texture is slowly creeping up to Meteor's score. 16 kills for Meteor, 14 for Texture. But it's all going to rely on the controllers on this B site. Meteor is here to support. Munchkin has gotten wow, so much value really nice. here as well. I mean, forget about the dastardly duo of Meteor and Texture. Look at the value that Munchkin can provide, that Karen can provide. Another kill found. Patatek and Boo have to try to make something of this. One enemy but they've got them cornered. They've got them Five surrounded. They know where they are. They're on the hunt. Genji gets to 10. Firing from all cylinders is Genji. This is the half that they just seem to just own teams on. This is where they thrive on this attacking side of Breeze. Munchkin calls such a good game here with this Astra. You see them deny a lot of info in mid. In the mid-round, usually. Sure. And slow starts like this, always. This is, the, this is the bread and butter for them. Yeah, Patatek invested the dog at the beginning of the round, spotted what Karen was. And it seems like Chenji want to lean back into it anyway, knowing that they've been spotted on some of the presents. I love this call. You make the Viper Wall go up A. It suggests a split going through double doors. He might even put his body on the line to sell the damn thing. Benji Fishy falls, but look at where the spike is. Look at where the rest of Genji are. All attention turning towards B. They're gonna waltz in, and Munchkin might win the round by himself on the other side. Three kills found. He's a man on a mission. No one can connect on him. He's like Neo. Yeah. And now he just holds bottom mid by himself. I mean, you're you're right. He 100% won the round by himself. But either way, the macro game went in favor of Genji this entire round. What can Boo and Reans do to? Consolidate, do anything, but Munchkin with four, the IGL. Not able to deliver on the ace. What a gift that would have been, but Lakia cleans it up. Genji gets to 11. Heretics not finding really anything else on the second half either. It is straight up laughing. Really the call was exceptional, the execution was somehow even sweeter. You got to go back to the tail of the tape as we put together this beautiful story of texture up against Wood and what a clash that would be. Wood is currently sitting at 4 and 12 or something like that. Meanwhile, Texture and Meteor, we've sung their praises so many times. The song has got to be like a leaky faucet okay. in the mines. We didn't see that. But they might be able to close this thing. At least this round. They've got a pretty big numbers advantage. Lucky and Meteor are the only two alive. They've dealt with one of this two-headed beast in Texture, but Meteor still healthy. Now taking some damage, feeling a lot of the oh, pressure. Wow. He will get cleaned up by Woot, leaving Lockheel alone. A Guardian, but 20 HP. Damn. And a thrifty for Team Heretics. Gen G, they did, they did a good job early on using the drone, getting the info on a site. But Rians, he opened it up for his team. That Sheriff headshot right off the rip. It's not too dim, not too gloom. Maybe they can yet sing a song. It's the same dog we saw from the previous round. This time a little bit of a jump spot. Has to be really careful about trying to get out now. You know he's gonna have to do that two or three times and then still not really feeling safe about time it. To jump. As all this is happening, there's been a complete walk down through middle. Oh here, sponge kid. Can't settle the shots with the sheriff. 
decent damage done. So a little worse for wear. 3, 2, 1, and elbow. Doesn't get much info. Benji just missing the timing. Maybe for good reason. Nice. But Meteor is giving a good reason for Genji to potentially steal this round this away. Tab tech on the exchange, though. Oh, he's tagged him. I wonder if he can hit the spam. No. Camera spotting two, spotting three. Utility cleared, but space gained from Genji. Spike planted. And these are the scary moments when Genji gets onto this B site. And Texture has this Guardian. He can really activate. They're down in numbers, they're down in weapons, but this is winnable. Gonna be big on Heretics to execute. Otherwise, hey. back as Boo falls. Oh, this is big. The flash in the face. Texture can't respond back. Lakia with the ghost. Oh. Spots the second, but can't deliver the shots. So Heretics will find their fourth. They're continuing to stick around. Yeah, making it costly. Four team Heretics and Genji, they're very. And of course, that's where Genji's <coughs> headed. A 4 1 approach, it looks like. That flash through. They normally invest the dart with Who's it. Next? Yoru will. That's better than any dart you could possibly ask for because who's going to find a timing? Because he saw through. Oh, has to dash away. I thought he was going to try to land the shots. Almost gets punished for the high ground. He tries taking Meteor so far up here. What can Rians do? Spike planted. Playing close by as Pad Attack has fallen. You've got Boo is joined. But they've gotten the spike down. And as you mentioned in the previous round, this is There's where Gen G are successful. This is where they're at their best. Spam through the smoke. Boo falls as well. Is a simple. Have to force back to try to get this 2v5. But again, an impossible situation. So many things to consider. So many targets to find. Just too many. Make it to the 12th round. Let's go. Meteor is an absolute animal right now, Doug. Running and gun. Getting all this info. Teron cut off the rotations. No cavalry could be arrived. Lakia has this ult. Munchkin's close to his. Those two alone, I mean, <laughs> those two can secure the map. Yeah. Drone will get the info on the Woot as well to, to secure that orb. If they want, they're a little wary though, for good reason. They know they have gut advantage into this round. They know heretics have to force up whatever they can and these close range fights. That's where the main problem could lead. So a drone was used from the side of Rians in the mid. Didn't really get any type of info, and Genji are more than willing to just wait for all the utility of heretics to be thrown. Another flash used, not getting any info. Patrick having to check it with his face. It's gonna get plenty of idea of what's on the other side. But you see them on the minimap, they're starting to creep in. The walls, the corners are starting to shut, but Patatek kicks the damn wall down. Rians gets in on it as well. Another round the way of Heretics, but is it too late? I mean, is it too far gone? Patatek close to his ult. It's a big one too, as you think about how Genji liked to play at the beginning of these rounds. Any info that you can gather is valuable. Decoy. It's a faster approach from Gen G. They've been sitting back for quite a bit of rounds. Meteor, I mean, he's so disrespectful right now, and I don't blame him. Look at Woot. Oh, look at Woot. He tried doing the same thing. Both right Soul was almost game. caught in their utility, but Locky is the one that falls. And now the Seeker's on the swing. Oh. Not able to get much more. There's no room for Meteor to get back to the spike. Okay. That's a rifle by this round for texture because he has the knives available next round. Oh. Oh. Oh, but it seems like they're happy to take that fight, happy to get caught with him. Now the drone over the top from Lockheed. Patek still trying to hold the line with three ends over his shoulder. Now you're going to have to deal with that again. An opportunistic swing up from Patek. And he pays for it with his life. Now the Hunter's Fury, Rians will fall too. GG. Boo and Benji Fishy left alive to try to convert this. What? Who's making a run at it? They've invested the neural theft. They've gotten info. They've gotten the pit out. And they're going to rotate away. And just Munchkin staying right here. 
Heretics have to keep one player there. That's why you see Boo just stuck. Like he's in mud. And now a late lurk that can be a thorn in the side of Heretics. But Benji Fishy, he's wrapping around himself. He might catch a timing here. All of his utility is still up, but it seems like they've managed to navigate the landmines and get to the other side. So Boo and Benji Fishy with a, a borderline impossible task put in their laps. But they're so weak. There's got to be a really nice timing up for Munch. Oh, what Benji the whoa? Boo's going to have to 1v2 here. He's got a phantom in hand, but time is so short. He's got to go, and he's got to go now. One away from the pit. Spots the first. Understand oh, nice. The second is, but he can't drop either. E -e. Breeze goes the way of Genji. Yeah, Heretics put up a fight. Yeah, they made it interesting at the end, but...